It's been just a few weeks since we got the Galaxy S20 series, and the next flagship device from Samsung is the Galaxy Note 20. But we're already getting some information about next year's Galaxy S21, or Galaxy S30, and it's a really interesting one. I am Keno, and this is Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. So, according to Ice Universe, Samsung is considering using the under-display camera technology on the Galaxy S21. What exactly does this mean? It means there isn't gonna be any more top bezels for housing the camera, or a notch or a punch hole. For years, companies have been trying to maximize the screen real estate, and they came up with solutions like the notch and the punch hole camera, but those still have some kind of intrusion in the display experience. So the ultimate solution is to put the selfie camera under the display, so the front of the phone will be all screen with no intrusion as we've seen with pop-up camera technology. But the difference is, now the camera is under the display and it doesn't need mechanical parts to move up and down for you to take selfies. Whenever you want to take a selfie, the camera will activate and the pixels in that part of the screen where the camera is located will be blacked out. This under display camera technology is what Samsung is considering for the Galaxy S21 and they're evaluating the feasibility of the tech. Is it gonna be good enough to use on their signature global flagship device? Well, it might be. Let's go back to 2019 when Samsung just announced the Galaxy S10 series with the first punch hole on an AMOLED display and some people asked about the under display camera technology that they showed off in the Samsung Developers Conference in 2018. And their answer to that was, the technology was gonna take at least two years to get to the consumers. And guess what? Next year is gonna make it two years from 2019. So, this information from Ice Universe falls in line with what the executive at Samsung said. And if you remember correctly, we've seen a couple of prototype devices from Oppo and Xiaomi, but those were just to show that the technology was possible. They had a couple of flaws which showed that the tech wasn't ready for market, one of which was insufficient lighting, and that severely affected the quality of the camera. You see, the area of the screen which hides the camera needs to have enough pixels to show color, but it also needs to leave a gap in between the pixels so light can pass to the sensor. Another problem was hiding the lower pixel count in the screen, in the area where the camera sensor is placed, and this was seen in Oppo's prototype device. A square-shaped outline could be seen under the display of Oppo's prototype device, especially when light colors were displayed on the screen. But we haven't seen any prototype or anything of that sort from Samsung. And considering they make the best OLED panels in the industry, if anybody's gonna make this technology work, it's gonna be them. Anyway, the launch of the S21 or S30 is still far away and there's still a lot more leaks to come. So if you want to stay updated, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.